Hey Luke. Hello. Also in the Korg dungeon at uh, <laughs> Synthfest. It is a bit of a dungeon, yeah. So I've been told a lot about the uh, cross. I've been, to I've been told to check it out because it's sort of got a lot of stuff going on in it that perhaps people don't know about. It's got a hell of a lot of stuff in there, yeah. So this is the Cross 2. So this replaces our current model. Um, we've remodelled it. It's got this nice rubberized finish, so it actually feels really great to use. The Absolutely, yeah. And what, a, what a great way to fill it, fit in with that theme. So, easy way to select sounds. So you've got all your categories there, if you can just see that. Um, yeah, so you can see them go through different categories. And then you've got another knob over here, which just goes through the different variations of those. So I've got my EP there. Like with the worst stations, you've got drum track built in as well. So you can get jamming straight away. What we've also added here are some real-time controllers, so they weren't on the last model. So it's just a really nice, easy way to manipulate your sound in real time, especially when you've got the arpeggiator running. So if we go in and find a nice kind of synth line. It's a nice big screen. It is, yeah, it's really good. So I'm going to select that synth there, stick on the ARP. It's latched. So I can then go in and say, OK, let's get my filter going. But what's also cool is over here on the right, the pads. We've got 16 of these. These are new as well. So we can use them for a step sequencer. So there's my kick drum pattern. So I can just add in more parts or bring them out. I can also use these to trigger samples, uh, recall my favourites, or even play audio files directly from an SD card. Samples as in onboard samples or will it? Uh, like either. It comes with some samples, but you can load samples onto an SD card or directly sample it. So you've got a choice. That's so it. That, that's, that's like, oh, oh, it does that. That's kind of a, quite a big deal. It's a massive deal, and especially for something at this level, to do that is, is really great. And, People playing live now, they often want to just drop in little loops or hits, and it's just perfect for that. Um, obviously, it's a workstation, although we don't really like to use that term too much because it sound, makes it sound a bit boring, But because it's actually a cracking synth. But it does have combination modes, so you can stack up to 16 sounds and a 16-track sequencer, and you can record audio directly. It has a mic input and a line input. You can see at the back there, just here. Right. So it's a cracking little unit for many different uses, and it sounds amazing. And in terms, can you kind of, how much can you layer up, or multi-timbrality? Up to 16 parts. Right. So you can have a stack of up to 16, or if you're using it as a sequencer, that's 16 tracks in your sequencer. Splits and layers, that sort of thing? Yeah, splits and layers in a combination. So that can be a, layer, a stack of 16, or uh, two lots of eight, or four lots of four, and they can overlap as well, so it's completely flexible. And what about uh, overall polyphony? Polyphony is 120. And is that is that 120 stereo voices? Yes, yeah, it's, it's full. It's proper, true polyphony. Yeah, it's not not cheating. Yeah. And did you say it had an audio USB in it? Yes, it has. No, I didn't say that, but it has got that. So it's got USB, which we had on the previous model, but it wasn't audio. But now it's audio as well. Right. So it works as an audio interface because you've got these inputs as well. So it's a it's a great synth for someone who's starting out who hasn't got anything and they just want to get recording or they want to play live, but they want to be able to record into the computer as well. So it's ideal for Interesting. that. Interesting. What sort yeah. of price point is it then? It's going to be 689 British pounds. Wow, that is... It's good value. That is yeah. pretty good value, yeah. yeah. And um, keyboard, just regular style keyboard, it's not a like, low travel or anything? It's no, 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 it's full-size keys, uh, 61 notes, five octaves, but it's also available in an 88 weighted keyboard as well. Right. Uh, is it uh, pressure sensitive or uh, just, uh, just It's touch sensitive, yeah. Velocity sensitive, not after touch. Uh, no. Okay, you yeah. can't have everything. Yeah. Well, Luke, I'm, I'm quite surprised at that. <laughs> so what, uh, what's the storage for the sample? It just plays directly off the media? Uh, so depends. So if you're in sample mode, it goes into RAM, and then you can trigger sort of short samples and loops. Yeah. Uh, but if it's in audio play mode, it literally streams it straight from here. So if you're playing to long backing tracks, that's the mode to use. But if you're just uh, pressing, you know, hits and little loops, and then how long, you can how use long it are, uh, How many voices of audio playback can it? Oh, that's, uh, I think it's four simultaneously. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lee. You're welcome.